Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Good morning everybody, welcome to the Forex Daily Video Research. Uh, today the 1st of the December and we will continue to talk about the uh, Euro. Well, Euro gradually approached our 100% expansion target. This is the daily chart from this ABC tab. 129.53 is the 100% expansion from this pattern. Market has reached 618 and accelerates directly to 100% expansion. Also this uh, area of agreement because Fibonacci expansion coincides with the Fibonacci support around 129.74. Well, uh, yesterday I said that uh, I, I have the strong feeling that market should first hit this target before we'll show any meaningful retracement to the upside. And my feelings was um, based on the very shallow retracement when the market reached some area of uh, supports and levels of oversold. Market uh, hasn't even reached 100% uh, targets on the intraday charts. So that, that has happened yesterday again and we will talk about it a bit later. But this uh, makes me th think that th the target will be reached this target and only after that market maybe will show some retracement to the upside. Uh, well in general there is some rule exists. This is not a rule of thumb, but it uh, very often works. And it, it said that if market accelerates directly from the 618 to 100% expansion and hits the level of oversold, it's right here. Today, oversold, by the way, is 129.26. Usually, when market should reach the 100%, 1618 target around here, 124.39, but before this, market should show some retracement to the upside and usually this retracement 618 from the last swing to the downside. From this high to this low 618 retracement should be and only after that market can continue moves to the downside. Well I do not uh, I'm not saying that a uh, market uh, has to show this retracement but usually it does. Well so uh, but for the current day we will have uh, quite uh, another trading plan and it based on this target and the moment that market has not reached this area. Market reached this Fibonacci support but not reached this target. I, I, I said million of times that I am not very comfortable to establish any long positions if market hasn't reached the logical profit objective and it uh, situated just 10 pips below the previous lows. So I think that market should hit this target before it will show some uh, meaningful retracement to the upside. Concerning uh, the way of the retracement, I've said yesterday that possibly it will be looking like here. So market hit the weekly pivot support one first and then shows retracement to the upside to the weekly pivot point. So that can happen again. This market hit the weekly pivot support one first and then can show some retracement. But this is just my assumption. Maybe market will show some very shell retracement and continue move to the downside. Who knows? But uh, today we will uh, we will talk uh, precisely at this target and the market price action on the lower time frame and what personally I will expect during today trading session. This is the one hour chart of Eurofix. Just a couple of words about the previ previous uh, uh, trading plan and just this trading plan. This is our pattern ABC bottom. I said that look for the possible region of this area. But you can see that market just hit 618 and totally collapsed. This is a sign of weakness when the market shows some just 618 retracement and sell off. Well, personally, uh, in this uh, scenario, you can enter on the short side when the C point will be taken by the price. So I, I, yesterday I sell mm, oh, the short position when the market has taken out, uh, taken out these lows. 
well, this bill, this was the scalp trade because we were we were uh, very oversold on the daily time frame. So my trade was just about the 70 pips because I, I exited somewhere around 130 area because I I, I would not uh, like to marry the position when we it oversold. This is just a scalp trade. Now uh, let's talk about the current situation. We see the obvious consolidation on the market currently, just below the weekly pivot support one and one twenty seven seventy four is the Fibonacci support daily Fibonacci support that we will talk about on the daily time frame. How the trend is bullish. Now look at this pattern A B C bottom market hit six one eight one hundred percent expansion precisely in the upper border of this range. Also, this is the uh, hourly Fibonacci resistance 138, uh, just above the market 138, 618 resistance from this high to this low. But it's not big deal with it. Look at another way 129.53 is the daily 100% expansion target, and it's just below this consolidation. Also, from this low to this high, 127 expansion is right here. Well, personally. I will be looking for hitting this area when if I see market will hit 100% car uh, retracement to the upside hit this weekly pivot support one now this will be the resistance and Fibonacci resistance and if it will not break out this range be prepared for the move to the lower border and hitting this daily target if we will see some wash and rinse on these previous lows, this low, this low, this low border of this consolidation on the market, hit this area, reach the level of oversold and returns back, this will be our signal for the possible enter on the long side and we can hold this position until the lows of the possible wash and rinse will not be taken out by the market. It will be very tight stop but the reward could be very significant because market can show the really uh, nice retracement to the upside because it will hit the daily 100% expansion, hit the daily Fibonacci support and daily oversold. This is a very strong area of support. Market the normal price action suggests that market should bounce from this area. So this very thin moment, very important, a lot of nuances. Wait for wait, wait for the price action around the upper border. If market will fail there and returns back. Wait until market will hit this area of support, the target daily 100% uh, expansion target. If it will be in the wave of wash and rinse market hit this area and returns back in this consolidation, possibly we can enter on the long side of the market with the stops just below the lows of this washing rings. Okay, this will be my trading plan for the current day, and particularly this price action I will uh, watching for in today's trading session.